Hey, this is Tyler. Well, this is basically my first blog slash rant about eBay and how dumb it's getting now. Mostly, it's about how people just don't seem to know how to work anything you sell now. Like, a couple weeks ago, I sold a camcorder that I bought brand new, used it probably for 15 seconds and this guy obviously doesn't know how to use it because he can't ever send me a message back right because he ends up saying it doesn't work so I try to help him and try to get it to work and all of a sudden he filed dis files a dispute with PayPal saying it doesn't work and so I talk to him and most of the time he can't spell right because he's saying the lens doesn't work. What the fuck is a lens? So basically PayPal sided with them because PayPal sucks also. eBay sucks because of what they're doing now because you can't even leave negative feedback for buyers if you're selling something. Well you can leave this positive but buyers can leave you negative, neutral, and positive. Last week I sold a webcam and uh, obviously the guy doesn't know how to use it because he messaged me saying it does not work. He's gonna file a dispute with his credit card company and unless he gets a full refund and so we message him back to ask him what operating system he's using because we told we wrote on the description it does not work with Vista so we asked him but with a within a few minutes later we saw that we have a negative feedback saying camera doesn't work beware of eBay or sh shipping is overpriced when the only shipping we use is calculated for where you live and he says avoid at all costs before he even and he even responds back to the emails we sent to him and uh, so I don't understand that and then he just goes on more and more about how we're we, we're not telling the truth and we're let's see here he has more messages he said uh, he expects a full re refund of 1823 when we only sold the camera for $40.50 and on the eBay thing it says seller only refunds the price of the item buyer pays for all the shipping so makes a dispute with PayPal and says all this stuff and then he's saying that we listed a broken item when it obviously worked and saying that you don't want to be responsible for paying for shipping. I'm already out of time. I have to deal with getting this shipped. You were more than you more than deserve a negative feedback. When you sell broken items, you should take responsibility for that. We didn't sell a broken item. It worked when we shipped it. So, I don't know what happened. That's none of our fault. If you are not wanting to pay return shipping, don't email me again. I am not going to take any more abuse from you. When we didn't send him any abuse, we just were trying to help him getting it to work on his computer, but he obviously doesn't want to listen to us, so I don't know. And we don't have to pay for return shipping, so I don't know what he's getting at for that. He's saying you just you have the nerve to tell me I am a being difficult after after I spent all day trying to get your broken junk to work when we didn't sell him broken junk in the first place. He's just being a moron and I've been a member for from eBay for four years now and I've never had a negative feedback. I'm a hundred percent positive. I have six I had sixty five positive reviews and this guy comes out of nowhere and he's just a pu pure idiot. He doesn't understand how anything works. He just likes to leave negative feedbacks without even responding to anything. His name is uh, Cool Rocker. So if you ever come across him, just if you ever come across him, just beware. It's C O O L R O C K E R. All one word. Yeah, so. If you ever come across him, beware because he'll just end up buying your stuff and just s saying pay. it wor doesn't work when it obviously does because why the why would we sell anything? And then so it just 
I really think eBay should really go back to their original rules because now you can't leave negative feedback for any buyers and so it basically ruins everything because in the past six months we've sold a lot of things and we've had about four people bidding on things that never ever paid for it. We've we messaged them probably five times and they never paid for it. Four different eBayers. So it basically does not help anything. And so you can't ever warn other eBayers about them not paying for it because now you can't leave negative feedback. So just to sum it all up, just beware of Cool Rocker and if you want you can leave me comments telling about telling me about your eBay experiences and if you had any bad eBayers. So yeah, I like to hear from you so yeah. And also I'm gonna have a uh, a Twitter account, so subscribe to me or follow me or whatever. Well, have a good day.